Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O Almighty God, who didst give to thy servant Theodore boldness to confess the name of our Savior Jesus Christ before the rulers of this world, and courage to die for this faith. Grant that we may always be ready to give a reason for the hope that is in us, and to suffer gladly for the sake of the same, our Lord Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from 2nd Esdras. I, Ezra, saw on Mount Zion a great multitude that I could not number, and they were all praising the Lord with songs. In their midst was a young man of great stature, taller than any of the others, and on the head of each of them was placed, placed a crown, but he was more exalted than they. And I was held spellbound. Then I asked an angel, Who are these, my Lord? He answered and said to me, These are they who have put off mortal clothing and have put on the immortal and have confessed the name of God. Now they are being crowned and receive palms. Then I said to the angel, Who is that young man who is placing crowns on them and putting palms in their hands? He answered and said to me, He is the Son of God whom they confessed in this world. So I began to praise those who had stood valiantly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said to me, Go tell my people how great and how many are the wonders of the Lord God that you have seen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm appointed is Psalm 126, found on page 782 of the prayer book. Psalm 126, page 782. We will pray the psalm responsively by the half verse. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. And we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord. Like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said to the twelve disciples, See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves. 
So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues. And you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me, as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how, are you, to, how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you at that time. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today the Church commemorates Theodore Tyro, martyr. Theodore was a young man, newly enlisted in the Roman army. When severe regulations were published continuing under the new rulers of the empire, the persecutions that had been started by Diocletian. His legion was wintering in Pontus when orders came that everyone should join in pagan worship. The recruit refused to do so. Though his life was seriously at risk, Theodore made no attempt to conceal his faith in Christianity. The tribune of the legion and the governor of Pontus summoned the soldier before them, asking why he proclaimed belief in Jesus Christ when the Roman authorities threatened anyone who did so with death. Theodore replied, Jesus Christ is my one God. Since you dislike my word so much, why not cut out my tongue? There is no limb that I am not ready to sacrifice when God demands it. Both the tribune and the governor had no desire to put their new recruit to death. They sent him back to his quarters, resolved to try to convert him to paganism later. Theodore, believing that the time had come now for a public demonstration of his hatred for the pagan idols, went to the temple, uh, went to the temple of Sibylle, the mother goddess, and set fire to it. Even now the governor and the tribune were disposed to be lenient. They bribed the young soldier with the promise that he would be made a priest of Sibylle if only he would recant and deny Jesus. Theodore pointed out that the pagan priests were the most reprehensible, reprehensible of all since they misled the rest. At this, the authorities sentenced Theodore to be whipped. He made no cry of pain as his skin was lashed. He spent further time in jail awaiting sentence, which was that he should be burned alive. In the year 306, the young recruit was thrown into a furnace and perished. A good Christian woman named Eusebia buried his ashes. We give thanks for the life and witness of St. Theodore Tyra, or Tyro. We are reminded that the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. And we pray for all those today around the world who face persecution for their faith. We pray for peace and tolerance. Blessed Theodore, pray for us. Amen. I invite you to leave your prayer requests in the comments of this post, and we will voice them in just a moment. Let us pray for the church and for the world, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love, and be without fault at the day of thy coming, we pray to thee, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Justin, Francis, Bartholomew, Martin, for all bishops and other ministers, and for all the holy people of God, we pray to thee, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness she may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to thee, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the world, 
that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. We pray it to thee, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those in positions of public trust, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and freedom of every person. We pray to thee, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer, for refugees, prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected, we pray to thee, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our enemies and for those who wish us harm, and for all whom we have injured or offended, we pray to thee, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have commended themselves to our prayers, and for our families, friends, and neighbors, that being freed from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and health, we pray to thee, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for Mary, Richard, Daniel, Helen, Elena, Sharon, Sylvia, Father John, Marcia, Susie, Laura, the Day family, and Larry. We pray also for the repose of the soul of Kathy, Kathy for Shelby and Sydney, for Peg, Maria, and Sharon, for the repose of the soul of Phil Hunt, for Jason, for Joey, and for all those asking for our prayer. For Linda and Isaac as they prepare for their ordination next Monday. We pray to thee, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died in the communion of thy church, especially Tom Lawson, and those whose faith is known to thee alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal, we pray to thee, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, blessed Luke, blessed George, blessed Theodore, and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord our God. Lord God Almighty, who has made all the peoples of the earth for thy glory to serve thee in freedom and peace, grant to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with thy gracious will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Most merciful God, we confess, we confess that, that we, we have, have sinned, sinned against, against thee, in, in thought, thought, word, and deed, by, by what we have done, done and by what we have left undone. We, we have not loved thee with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in thy will and walk in thy ways, to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God.
The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty everlasting God, for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all thy saints who have been the chosen vessels of thy grace and the lights of the world in their generations. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in thine infinite love thou dost make us for thyself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, thou didst mercifully send Jesus Christ, thine only begotten and eternal Son, to share our humanity, to live and die as one of us, and to reconcile us unto thee, who art the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross, and there made an offering of himself in obedience to thy will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night in which he was betrayed unto suffering and death, our Lord Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks unto thee, he brake it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his blessed death, his mighty resurrection, and glorious ascension, we offer unto thee these gifts. Sanctify them, we beseech thee, by thy Holy Spirit, that they may be for thy people the body and blood, of thy Son, Jesus Christ, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Do thou likewise sanctify us, thy servants, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve thee in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with the blessed and glorious Virgin Mary, blessed Luke, blessed George, blessed Theodore, and all thy saints into the joy of thine eternal kingdom. All this we ask to thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, 
have Have mercy mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have have mercy mercy upon us. us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant grant us us thy peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. body of Christ, preserve that body and so on to the last time. Amen. The body of Christ, preserve that body and so on to the last time. The body of Christ, preserve that body and so on to the last time. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee that Thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and thus assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of Thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thine everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen.
the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.